Hello everyone, I am Vinita and welcome to my channel Hopeful Turns. In this video, I will be sharing with you the tutorial of this crochet hair bow tie. Now, this is a very very simple, quick, easy project to do and uh, even if you are a beginner, you should be able to do it. Now, this hair bow tie, you can use it in hair bands or uh, elastic hair ties. You can even use it in your crochet headband itself. So it will give you a kind of a knotted headband look. Okay. So this for this project I am using some scrap yarns. So these are the scrap yarns that I am going to use. You will require very very less yarn. Okay. So this is a very good project to finish off your scrap yarns that you have in hand. I am using a sport weight, you can even use a DK and if you want you can go to a medium weight acrylic yarn but I prefer, but I think sport weight or DK weight will be good because it will be smaller. The bigger the yarn, the bigger your bow will be but if you are looking for that you can definitely use a, a thicker yarn. So as I have said I have used a sport weight. And I am using a 3.5 mm crochet hook. Alright. So apart from that you will definitely need a hair tie. Uh, you will need a pair of scissors and a darning needle to weave in the ends. So we will start. Now this project is going to use all the stitches like single crochet, half double crochet, double, triple. So if you are a complete beginner, I'll put a link in the description box which will take you to the different basic stitches used in crochet. You can have a look. Alright, so we'll start up tutorial. Okay, so we'll start this with a slip knot. So I'll take my yarn, loop it around my finger like an X, take this yarn off and pull the working yarn through this loop. So this here is my slip knot. I'll take the hook and attach it. So here I've got my slip knot. Now I'm going to make a total of 33 chain stitch. So this is how you do your chain stitch. You go left, you go under and then pull up a loop. So this is your first chain stitch, second chain stitch, third chain stitch. Like that I'll make a total of 33 chain stitch. So if you're following along, just pause this video and make 33 chain stitch. I'll just make it and meet you. So here I have made a total of 33 chain stitch. Now we'll start. So what we'll do is we'll skip the very first stitch. Okay. And start working from the second stitch onwards. So into your second stitch make a slip stitch first. So skip the first stitch and put a slip stitch into the second stitch. So make a slip stitch. In the next stitch make one single crochet so insert your hook pull up a loop you have two loops yarn over and pull through both the loops so you have one single crochet in the next stitch make a half double crochet so for a half double crochet you yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop you have three loops yarn over pull through all the three so here you have a half double crochet in the next two stitches make one double crochet each so to make a double crochet you yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through the first two yarn over pull through the next two here so this here is your double crochet in the next stitch also i'm going to make a double crochet like this next you make a triple crochet so in the next stitch you make a triple crochet so for a triple crochet you have to yarn over two times sorry so you yarn over two times and then insert your hook pull up a loop you have four loops yarn over pull through the first two yarn over pull through the next two yarn over pull through the last two so this here is your triple crochet next what you do is you put a double crochet in the next two stitches so make double crochet so this is one double crochet in the next stitch also make a double crochet all right then you make a half double crochet so in the next stitch put a half double crochet like this in the next loop make one single crochet so insert your hook pull up a loop 
yarn over pull through both the loops. So this here completes one half. All right. Next, what we are doing is we are going to put slip stitches. So we'll put twelve slip stitch. That is one slip stitch in the next twelve stitches. So this is the next stitch. So to make a slip stitch, insert, pull your working yarn through both the loop. So this is one slip stitch. Again, make another slip stitch. Two. Make another slip stitch. So insert your hook and pull your working yarn through both these loops. So like this, I'll make a total of 12 slip stitches. So here I have made 12 slip stitch. All right. Next, I'm going to repeat this same thing in this side. All right. So we'll start. So here I have made 12 slip stitch. In the next stitch, I'm going to make a single crochet like this. Then a half double crochet. So make a half double crochet. Next, put two double crochet. That is one double crochet in the next two stitches. So the next stitch make a double crochet like this the next stitch also make a double crochet like this all right next you have to put a triple crochet so to make a triple crochet you yarn over two times insert your hook you have four loops, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the next two, yarn over, pull through the last two. So this here is your triple crochet. Now you put two double crochets. So in the next stitch, make a double crochet. So this is one double crochet. In the next stitch also make a double crochet. Like this. Then make a half double crochet. Like this. And then a single crochet. So here you have a single crochet. You have one last stitch left. So in that stitch put a slip stitch. So in the very last stitch make a slip stitch. So this here is one half of our bow. Now we'll do the bottom part. So for that we'll start with a slip stitch. So the first slip stitch will go in the same stitch as the, as the earlier slip stitch. So in the very same stitch, we'll start with a slip stitch like this, all right? Then you turn your work and we'll work in the bottom half, okay? So if you see, there is a V-stitch here. So every time you put, a, uh, put your hook, you are going to catch the small V that is there. So just flip it a little, you'll be able to see it. So the first one was a slip stitch. Come to the second stitch and make a single crochet. And while doing this, what I'm going to do is I'll take my yarn and keep it like this and start making the stitches on top of it so that you don't have to weave in later. So first make a single crochet. In the next stitch, make a half double crochet like this. Then double crochet in the next two stitches. So I'm just taking this along with me. So make a double crochet, insert your hook like this pull up a loop you have three loops pull through the first two pull through the next two okay one double crochet is over in the next stitch also make a double crochet like this right next make a triple crochet so yarn over two times insert your hook and then pull through two two times two two no, loops three times so this is your triple crochet next make two double crochets so insert your hook and make a double crochet like this this is one in the next stitch also make a double crochet like this then make a half double crochet this is your half double crochet and then a single crochet so this kind of completes this part, all right. Next, what I'm going to do is I'll make 12 slip stitches. So in the next stitch, make a slip stitch. So this is my first slip stitch. 
come to the next stitch make a slip stitch so insert your hook into the next stitch like this and then make a slip stitch come to the next stitch and make a slip stitch so i'll make a total of 12 slip stitches so here i have made 12 slip stitch now i'm going to do this part all right so once you have your 12 slip stitch next stitch make a single crochet then a half double crochet then two double crochets so this is my first double crochet in the next stitch also a double crochet like this then a triple crochet so yarn over two times and then complete your triple crochet so this completes my triple crochet next we'll put two double crochet so insert your hook and make two double crochet so this is my first double crochet in the next stitch also we'll make a double crochet then a half double crochet like this then a single crochet and in the very last stitch make a slip stitch so here you have to put a slip stitch and with this we can finish our work so i'll just cut this yarn off all right so this here completes our bow that's all to it now what i'll do is this i have already weaved in so i can just cut my yarn off if you want you can weave in again but this is enough for me and this part here i'll just weave in so i'll take a darning needle and then weave in my end so just randomly go through a couple of stitches so here I have weaved in all the loose ends. Now what all you have to do is take a hair tie, elastic tie and put it like this and you have to just knot it. So just make a knot. You have to pull it and then try to make it neat. So adjust and there you have it. So here your hair tie is done. It's a very very simple pattern. Very easy to do and you get your hair tie. Hope you enjoyed making this. If you have made this please link it on my Instagram and Facebook page. I'll put the links in the description box. Uh, you can tag me in, on Instagram and uh, if you like this video please press on the like button and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing. See you in the next video. Until then, bye. Thank you for watching.